When I arrived at the meeting, there were cameras in the room. Thanks to them, the short video of my arrival immediately went viral and caused headlines around the world. Mm -hmm. um, there was no need for subtitles. There was no need for translations. The images spoke for themselves. I felt hurt and I felt alone as a woman and as a European. Because it is not about seating arrangements or protocol. This goes to the core of who we are. I am the first woman to be president of the European Commission. I am the president of the European Commission. And this is how I expected to be treated when visiting Turkey two weeks ago, like a Commission president. But I was not. I cannot find any justification for what I was treated in the European treaties. So I have to conclude that it happened because I am a woman. Would this have happened if I had worn a suit and a tie? In the pictures of previous meetings, I did not see any shortage of chairs. But then again, I did not see any women in these pictures, neither. Honorable members, many of you will have made quite similar experiences in the past, especially the female members of this House. I'm sure you know exactly how I felt. And this shows how far we still have to go before women are treated as equals, always and everywhere. Of course, I know that I am in a privileged position. I am the president of an institution which is highly respected all around the world. <laughs> and even more important, as a leader, I can speak up and make myself heard. But what about the millions of women who cannot? Women who are heard every day in every corner of our planet, but neither have the power nor hold the office to speak up. 